Triple E EDC back again with another knife video. This is a GEC fixed blade, and this was uh, loaned to the channel very generously by good friend of the channel, Mark Goldstein. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for loaning this to the channel. Uh, actually, um, sort of by coincidence, I had opened this up at work uh, near one of my coworkers, and she saw it and uh, said, I have to have that. That's uh, the perfect Christmas gift for my father. So. I contacted Mark, uh, asked him if he was interested in selling it, and he graciously sold it to her at a good price. And uh, so thank you, Mark, for that as well. And this is going to go to her father uh, for Christmas. Uh, but I know there's not a lot of videos out there on this, so I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video on on this. I'm not going to do a full review on this, obviously, because I'm not uh, testing it out or anything. But I wanted to show it, and especially since it's not something GEC normally, uh, not the norm that people see from GEC. So uh, first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. So this is um, sort of a, uh, uh, this is a micarta here, I believe, um, and uh, they have a name for it. I think, uh, I forgot the exact name. It's like a grain micarta is, is, is what they call it, but I had never seen it up close. I've seen it on some of their other knives, uh, you know, some of their slip joints. And now that I see it in person here, I really like it. I really like this. Um, uh, this material it is it does have deep grooves in here uh, and uh, but I, I really like the material a lot I also like uh, the shield here this acorn I think it's um, beautiful it sets off very nicely on the knife uh, the pins are done well here uh, and the fit of the scales is very good I do have to say um, normally you know, it's, it's something from, if I was looking at GEC normally um, in their slip joints, I would expect excellent uh, fit and finish on the slip joints. I did not know what to expect on the fixed blades, and I do have to say I'm pretty impressed overall with the fit and finish here. Now, as far as ergonomics on this thing, I mean, it, it's it's a flat handle. You sort of see what, uh, what it is. It is a neutral handle, so it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, I would give it uh, it's, I'll give it a neutral five out of ten, um, but it 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 does uh, uh, it does work for whatever you need to do here. There also, just so you guys know, there's um, it it's sort of a I think it's meant to operate as a double guard, but really it's a, it's a single guard because if you look here, this one's longer than this one. However, you still have a guard here, so um, if you're looking at you know putting your thumb on top of here, just be aware of that uh, as far as ergonomics. That being said, the guard doesn't get in the way if you want to crank up here. Uh, the, the top guard doesn't get in the way at all if you want to crank your hand up, up there. As far as uh, the design of it, you have this nice swedge right here and a little bit of a sl very, very, very slight clip point um, before you get to the rest of the draw point blade. Uh, the blade itself is very thin. Um, as you can see, the stock on this, let's see if we can put it up against uh, some other knives here. This is the, uh, this is the Hogue Ritter. So that's the stock on the Hogue Ritter. You can see it's thinner than the Hogue Ritter. Um, you can see that it is, here's the Benchmade bug out. So it's about the same stock as the Benchmade bug out, maybe a little, no, it's about the same stock. Uh, as the Benchmade bug out. So uh, as far as what to expect on stock, that, that's pretty much what you can expect on a fixed blade. So this is going to be very much an EDC fixed blade, not a hard use fixed blade, um, given that stock right there. Uh, in addition, um, the grind on it actually is done pretty well. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, so or the edge on it, I should say, um, very thin slicey edge. And the bevel on it is, although it's very short, it does uh, come to a nice sharp edge uh, that you would come to expect, um, you know, decent sharpening from uh, GEC. So uh, as far as the blade steel, I don't know exactly what blade steel it is. It just says carbon steel. If I had to guess, because uh, I, I don't have the original thing, it's actually, I, I don't have to guess. I was going to guess this, but um, it's 1095. Here, 1095 carbon, carbon steel. So, um, uh, so it's 1095 carbon steel. That's pretty much what GEC uses on a lot of their knives. And 1095 is going to be great for, um, you know, almost any task you're, you're going to use a fixed blade for. Obviously, you'll have to sharpen it more often, um, but it's, uh, you know, tensile strength is very good. And, you know, you're going to, for whatever task you're going to need it for, you're going to be totally fine. As far as the sheath, uh, the sheath is actually really nice. Uh, as far as, you know, the stitching, stitching is good all the way around. Uh, they double up over here, and 
they give you nice patterning over here. The leather seems not the highest end leather, um, but it seems adequate. Um, let's see how this fits in over here. So this fits into the sheath fairly well. And this is uh, on a, um, a dangler, not quite a dangler, but it's on the belt loop vertical carry. So, uh, and I, I do quite like the, um, the leaf pattern here on the button. So those are some of the, you know, positives about it. If I had to say negative, I would, I'd say the sheath could probably feel like it has a little bit better leather. Uh, it, it is decent leather, but it's not, um, you know, the same type of leather you expect to get from, uh, you know, Bark River or one of the higher end knives. But that's, that being said, for the price, I don't expect it necessarily. Um, the other thing is that the, uh, uh, the blockiness of the handle, I, you know, I, I understand this the design, but I think there could have been a little bit um, possibly more contouring uh, on the handle here and not made this quite so flat because it is extremely flat. Uh, so those, I think those are my two biggest criticisms on this. But other than that, it really uh, feels good in hand, feels very light. Um, and uh, the balance on this is probably a little bit, a little bit behind here. I can, that's probably, you know, something you should be aware of. So it, it's one of the reasons it feels very light in the hand, but um, again, it's, it's for EDC tasks. This thing is not for, uh, for crazy hard use. Anyway, I hope you guys um, uh, found this nice, uh, or sorry, found this type of video nice so that you guys could just get to see a, a very cool knife and a cool offering from Great Eastern Cutlery uh, that isn't something that pops up that, that often on, on these knife channels. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and the subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this and whether or not you carry a fixed blade from um, GEC. Uh, and uh, um, have a great day, everyone.